AI tools like ChatGPT are great and all, but they require a lot of user input to make them work correctly. Now, if only there was a way to automate more of the process. Well, you've landed in the right place because I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So for this video, we're going to continue automating a process that we started last week. So if you didn't catch that video, I'll put a link up above and down in the video description as well. So make sure you check that out first. But in that video, we created an open AI assistant that turns blog posts into tweets. And today we're going to tie an automation piece into all of that. So to actually build out this automation, there are going to be four main elements. So first, we're going to need to source the information. And to do that, we're going to use Feedly. Feedly is essentially a platform that compiles blog posts and articles from RSS feeds from all these different blog posts. And you can set what those parameters are based on your interests specifically. So we're going to take a look at that. Next, we're going to feed that article into the OpenAI assistant that we created last week to turn that article into tweets. Then we're going to send those tweets to a Notion board where we can actually schedule out the content. And finally, the platform that we're going to use to tie all of this together is Make.com. Make is a very similar platform to Zapier, which allows you to tie your applications together and run automations with them. So Make is essentially going to be the glue that ties all of this together. I will put links to all of these down in the description, so if you're interested in trying any of these tools out, be sure you check out the video description below. So we're going to get started inside of Make.com. When you first get started in Make, it's going to look something very similar to this, although you might not have all this stuff going on. These are all of the operations and automations that I've been running inside of Make currently. You should have a very similar looking screen. Now, to get started, we are going to come to the top and click create new scenario and now this is where we actually build out our automation so firstly we want to be able to source the information that we want to turn into tweets and like i mentioned earlier we are going to use feedly so if we type in feedly we can see we have all these different options in here when a new article on a board new highlight new note new prioritized article and we are going to say when a new article is in a board so let's hop over to Feedly real quick. So this is my Feedly board and it is set up to bring me AI news. And this is what I use for the AI briefing podcast. If you've seen that on our channel, Feedly actually allows you to go in and search topics and sources and follow them. And they will deliver all of these articles to you from those sources specifically. So you're going to want to get this set up with topics in your niche and what you're going to want to create your tweets about, but we're not going to get into all of that in this video. If you are interested in learning more, let me know down in the description. What we need to do inside Feedly is we need to create a new board. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to create new board. And I'm just going to call this blog to tweet. I'm not going to worry about a description in here. I don't care to make this board public. So I'm just going to hit create. So now we have our Feedly board. So now let's jump back over to make. So we want to create a webhook here. I'm going to give this webhook a name. So I'll just say blog to tweet again. You're going to have to connect your Feedly account. So if you need to create a new connection, you can click add and it'll ask you to log in and create that connection. And then we have to specify which board we want to look for. So we want to look for the blog to tweet and then we click save. Now, essentially what this is saying is anytime an article is added to the blog to tweet board in Feedly, it's going to initiate and start this automation. I'll click OK. So the next step of this is we want to send this information to our OpenAI assistant that we created last week. So we're going to click add another module. And we're going to search ChatGPT. Now, there's a bunch of different options in ChatGPT here, but we want to choose Message and Assistant. So this is going to send a message to the assistant that we created. So once again, if you're new to Make, you're going to have to connect your OpenAI account, create your login, do all that. And once you're connected, we can get into the fun stuff. So for Message, we're going to pull information from Feedly specifically. This is going to be the message that is sent to OpenAI. So here we're going to choose Article Content, No HTML. And next we have to choose the assistant we want to send it to. So we're going to choose the blog to tweet assistant that we created. And now thread ID, model, file ID, all this stuff we can leave alone because that's already determined in our blog to tweet assistant that we already created. So we're just going to click OK. So now we have the ability to source the information and we have it turning that information into a tweet. So lastly, we want to send those tweets to Notion so that we can schedule out our content. And we're going to do this actually in two steps. We're going to add another model and type in Notion, and we actually say get database. So once again, you're going to connect your Notion into make, and then we're going to type in a database ID. Now, the easiest way that I've found to get your database ID is to come to the actual database that you want to put these tweets into or add this content to. In this case, mine is tasks, and come to the top corner and click copy link. Then come to your notepad or somewhere and paste that link. Your database ID is going to be this string of numbers and letters between the forward slash and the question mark. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste that into the database ID and click OK. Next, we're going to add another module. And once again, we're going to choose Notion. And this time, we're going to create a database item. Here, we're going to select from the list database ID. And now when we click inside the database ID option, we can see that that database that we just added is now in here. So we're going to click database ID. Okay, so choosing the database ID field wasn't working for whatever reason. So instead, I just switched to enter manually and I pasted that ID back in here. 
And now the next step is to add in items. So first we're gonna to wanna to add in the title. The value is text. And for the value itself, we're just gonna say tweets for right now. Then we're gonna add another item in under the key. And then we're gonna choose description. And in the description, the value that we actually want here is not gonna come from Notion, so we can collapse that. It's gonna come from OpenAI. We want to open up content and value. Then we're gonna click okay. It's another moment of truth. I have actually not created this automation before and I've never connected make specifically into Notion. So we're gonna test this and we're gonna run it for the first time and see if it works. We're gonna come and we're gonna click run once. Now you can see Feedly is waiting for something to happen. So we're gonna come back over into, and we're just gonna choose one of these articles that we have, say this one, and click save to board. And then we're going to choose blog to tweet. And now when we come back over to make, you can see Feedly already found that article and it is sending it to our OpenAI assistant to create the tweets on the database item. And oh no, we messed up. Okay, for whatever reason, it took a minute to refresh in make. So I went back in, I re-added the connection to database with that same database ID. And now the fields are automatically populating for me here rather than me going and creating them myself, which was the issue that we had before. So for the task name now, here we can put in tweets. One other thing I did with the Notion database is that I added another column and I called it tweets. So that's where we're actually going to put the content itself. So if, after we put in our task name, then we can come down and we're going to see the field for tweets. We can collapse the Notion one here and in the OpenAI message, we can say content and value. You can tell that it's the right one because you can see where the answer, the response from OpenAI is starting to populate here. Apple's new iPod iPad Pro commercial. So that is actually the, the tweet that OpenAI made. So we can click OK, refreshing. And then once again, we're going to try running this one more time. So we're going to come back into Feedly, go to a new article here, click on the article, save to board. We're going to save it to blog to tweet. And then once again, you can see Feedly captured it. OpenAI is creating the tweets, found the database, created the database item. Now, if we come into our tasks, you should see a brand new task show up in here. We refresh the page here. And sure enough, we have our brand new Notion database item along with all of our different tweets. OpenAI introduces model spec. We have the two hashtags. This was something we specified in the last video when we created this. And now we can start planning and scheduling out from within Notion itself. Likewise, if you'd rather skip the step of sending them into Notion and you just want it to publish, rather than using Notion here, you could actually create a module to Twitter or X itself. And here you can actually create your post and have OpenAI grab that. Um, in this case, we have OpenAI creating five different tweets. So if we grab that content and pull it into Twitter or X, it would actually throw all five into there and we don't necessarily want that. So I have a stopping in Notion, plus I like to review and make sure that the content matches my tone and my style prior to hitting publish on that. That's going to be up to you and your personal preference and how you feel about letting AI publish your content for you. But that's just my opinion. So now the last thing that we have to do in here is click on. Now, anytime we're in Feedly and we find something that we want to create tweets about, we can just go in, we can add it to the board, the blog to tweets board, and those tweets will autom automatically be made for us and show up in our Notion board. Now, the next series of videos that I'll be releasing in the coming weeks are going to be all about the process that I'm using to create my fully automated AI podcast, the AI Briefing. These last two videos are sort of laying the groundwork for how I'm doing that with the podcast, and I'm going to take you inside that process and how I actually create the show. So if that is of interest to you or you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.